Hi, I'm David Gross with Condi Systems, back with you to share a helpful tip that will make you money, I hope, and make your clients happy with your products. Inside of Corel, there's a hidden feature that most people don't know about. It's a calendar generation feature. And this time of year, which I'm shooting this video in the early part of November, um, a good product to start showing your clients is sublimation products with a calendar on there. And, and Corel makes it very easy for you to incorporate uh, a calendar with uh, a photograph, with a uh, title, and then have, for instance, a, a dry erase surface. You could hang this on your door, you could put it near your telephone, and all sorts of uh, great refrigerator, put magnets on the back of it. So calendars are a very hot product for the seasons. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this kind of product. And this can be applied to just about anything that we have in the sublimation world. Um, it's just, it's unlimited. Now the, what we're going to do with Corel is I'm going to show you the feature, but the rest of it is, is quite simple. In this, I built the calendar using the Corel feature. And then behind the calendar, I put a photograph, okay, just, just put it right behind it. And then on, in the top layer, I put, put another photograph here and then put some words. Just, just straightforward and simple. So let's take, let's turn our attention to the computer and walk through it. What we're going to do is first go File New. Now we're going to go up to Layout and uh, we're going to change our dimensions of the uh, file, uh, the page. And then we're going to hop over to Tools. And for this version of Corel Draw, we're going to hike down to Visual Basic and hit Play. Now, we're going to do a pull down at Macros In, and you'll see the calendar wizard right there. And we're going to hit Run. Now, this page is the calendar wizard page, and there's a whole lot of information here, a whole lot for you to digest. Uh, but obviously, the first thing is we want to tell it what year we're going to do, and of course, 2011. Next is we can go down to the layout, and you'll see all the calendar options we have. And for ours, we're going to go down there and go to the, um, I think the left bottom uh, is the one I chose, and you'll see the layout. And you know, you got lots of options at this point in time from your margins that we can set um, to fonts to uh, colors, things like that. And so, you know, have at it, you know, just, just have fun playing. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and generate our calendar. And we're going to hit OK when it's finished, and we're going to close the calendar wizard. And there's our layout. Our next step is to import our images, and we're going to be dealing with three things here. One is the, that foreground photograph of the little boy, and we're going to power clip it into our, our middle section there. And next is we're going to place our text. Picked out a nice attractive font. And now we're going to a, put a background behind everything. And again, power clip it as well. And we are finished. This is David Gross with Condi Systems, and I hope this has been a great tip to increase your, your holiday business, and for that matter, all year round, by using just a fantastic, powerful feature in Corel, the Calendar Wizard. Please let me know what you think. You can always email me at dgross at condi.com. Please continue watching our videos. Let us know what you'd like to see more of at condi.tv.com. Till we see you again, thank you.